This video introduces secondary prophylaxis and RHD control programs in Australia. Information is derived from the 2020 Australian Guideline for Prevention, Diagnosis and Management of Acute Rheumatic Fever and Rheumatic Heart Disease, third edition. The learning objectives are to understand the principles of secondary prophylaxis and identify the role of RHD control programs. Secondary prophylaxis of acute rheumatic fever, or ARF, is the regular and ongoing administration of long-acting antibiotics to people who have had ARF or rheumatic heart disease, RHD. Secondary prophylaxis aims to prevent future strep A infections and the recurrence of ARF. It is integral in the management of RHD. Intramuscular benzathine benzyl penicillin is the recommended first-line antibiotic used for secondary prophylaxis of ARF throughout the world including in Australia. It is also known as BPG, Bicillin LA, Bicillin and LAB. Strep A remains sensitive to BPG. Oral penicillin is discouraged, except for patients who absolutely cannot tolerate injections. Oral penicillin is less effective and required twice daily. It can be difficult to deliver consistently and should be prescribed in conjunction with a paediatrician or paediatric cardiologist. Benzathine benzyl penicillin is prescribed and measured in international units. It is available as a pre-filled syringe in packs of 10 and is kept in the fridge. It is administered as a deep intramuscular injection in one of three sites, ventrogluteal, dorsogluteal and vastus lateralis. Benzathine benzyl penicillin injections are never given into the deltoid. To be effective, injections are required every 21 to 28 days. Every day after 28 puts the person at risk of another strep A infection and potentially an ARF recurrence. These overdue days are called days at risk. The duration of secondary prophylaxis is determined by a specialist, physician, cardiologist or paediatrician. For example, most people need injections for at least 10 years. However, some people without heart involvement may stop after five years. Secondary prophylaxis should never be ceased without a specialist review and echocardiographic assessment. This decision is based on individual risk of recurrent ARF and the severity of disease. These injections can be painful and there are many strategies available to individuals and health services to reduce the pain and stress of injections. Many effective strategies do not require medication. Tip. Key features of a quality consultation with a young person include appropriate engagement, including language and use of interpreters as needed, assuring confidentiality, trust and respect, and exploring the broader aspects of health and wellbeing. RHD control programs. The aim of the RHD control programs is to maintain a register and recall system for secondary prophylaxis and clinical management. They promote culturally appropriate care, support education and health promotion for clinicians, patients and communities, work with patients and primary health care staff to optimise delivery of secondary prophylaxis and provide data for epidemiological reporting. RHD is notifiable in Queensland, Northern Territory, South Australia, Western Australia and New South Wales. RHD control programs are based in each of these jurisdictions. Each jurisdiction requires the medical practitioner to complete and submit the appropriate notification form. However, processes may vary. Consent from the patient for notification is not required. However, some programs may require informed consent for inclusion on the ARF RHD register. Tip, contact the RHD control program for information about how they can support you and your organisation with the management of people with ARF and RHD.